new gel blasters open up here today. They're called Splat Tar Balls. Splat R Balls. We're gonna go ahead and open them up. I've got three different splatter balls that they sell at Walmart here in America. And we're gonna see what comes with them, how hard they shoot, how good they aim, and how amazing they are. I've heard good things about these in the comment sections by you guys down below, so I decided to buy a couple and, and give it a shot. Today, I have my wonderful assistant, Ember Breeze Hires. She's gonna open up the box, pull out the gel blaster, and we're gonna see what's inside of it, what comes with it. Let's go, come on, open this bad boy up. I'm pretty excited, pretty excited to see the splatter balls. I've heard good things about it. On this channel, we've tried out Amazon's gel blasters, We've tried out the Surge Gel Blasters, and now we're trying out Walmart's Splatter Balls Gel Blasters. Well, I guess it's not balls, it's just ball. Splat R Ball. As you can see right there, guys, this is for ages 14 and up. Splatter Ball, fully automatic, easy to load, 400 Splatter Ball magazine, so it can hold 400 um, Splatter Balls inside the magazine which is pretty amazing it actually comes with a bonus magazine which is cool we'll see that when we open it up the ammo size is 7.5 millimeters eight splatter ball per second okay so that's what the eight is that's pretty cool pretty quick let's go ahead and see what it comes with inside all right so we've got the splatter ball gun we've got a pair of goggles up here to protect your eyeballs which I recommend you wear because these things do sting a bit. We've got two magazines and there's that extra magazine it said it came with. 20,000 splatter balls and it looks like it even comes with a strap uh, to put on the blaster so you can wear it over your shoulder or something. We've got a charger right here for the battery. Let's see what else we've got. Looking at this right away, it feels heavy, it feels sturdy. This thing, this thing feels really strong, really strong. Our battery died, and so we're back. We're back now, back again. All right, so we've got two magazines that hold 400 Orbeez a piece. We've got the blaster, which weighs about three pounds. Okay, so this switch right here, Basically, you just switch it backwards and it allows you to release the battery cover and then your brand new battery will be inside there. I recommend you charge the battery fully before you fire these blasters. Uh, that way you get the best battery life possible for the life of the blaster. Okay, so it looks like when you click the battery cover back in, that switch actually pops back in and spring loaded. So it goes back automatically, which is pretty cool. Uh, the magazine slide right in the bottom here with the hole facing towards the front of the blaster and they click right in pretty nicely and they actually fit pretty tight. There's not too much wiggle to that. But look at that blaster right there. That thing is really, really nice. As you can see right here on the blaster, it has a, a one circle which represents an Orbi and then it has three circles. And so basically what that is, that's going to be your semi-automatic and that's going to be your automatic fire. So you can switch it from semi-automatic, automatic, and then your X up here will be off. So you switch it for off, which is like a safety. So that way you pull the trigger, it's not gonna fire on off mode, but if you have it on semi-automatic or automatic, it is going to start firing. All right, so that's, that's that blaster there. It came with a funnel, so you can actually just open up the Let's see how this thing opens up. I know it opens up. There we go. So on the top, on the top of your magazine, you're gonna have a little door like that. Can you see that clearly? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have a little door like this, and basically you stick your funnel in here like this, and then you're gonna pour your Orbeez right down into that funnel, and that way you're not like scooping with your hand. That's actually really cool. I haven't seen this come with any of the gel blasters, and I own I think, what do I own, like 20 gel blasters? Uh, maybe 18 gel blasters, something like that. Anyway, I've never seen one of these funnels come with it, so that is really cool. So we've got two magazines, the blaster, we've got a funnel, we've got a, I, by the way, um, I love the coloring of this box. I love how they put the gray and the blue blaster on a green background so when you open it up it's just very eye-catching and then you have these um, bright orange goggles right here 
I'm gonna keep them in the package because I already have too many goggles open. But these are really nice. They actually look pretty comfortable. And then we've got 20,000 Orbeez right here. And what you do with these is you just soak them in water uh, for about an hour. Let's see how long. Okay, this says this says to let, let the ammo hydrate four hours before it's up to full size. Airplanes. Airplanes always flying over me. I, I don't I don't know why. Oh it's probably because there's an airport over there somewhere. Anywho, uh, so it looks like it actually gives you some instructions on the back. A half a teaspoon is 500 Orbeez, a full teaspoon is a thousand Orbeez, and two and a half teaspoons is about 2,500 Orbeez. All right, so, and then it comes with the charger and the strap. Let's go ahead and see if we can put the strap on real quick without the instructions. Or maybe not, maybe we won't mess with the strap right now. You know it comes with the strap. It also comes with a handy dandy splatter ball target so that you can zero it in. Yeah, just kidding. There's no adjustments on this thing. So that's it for our first unboxing of the first gel blaster. We're gonna go ahead and put that one aside. We're gonna open up the other two, which are in this large Walmart box right here. All right, let's go ahead and open up this box. All right. Oh. All right, we're, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. Stuff's falling everywhere right now. Okay, I'll let you choose which one you wanna open up next. There's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. Pull all this stuff out. All right. You wanna get this one? Yeah. Okay, let's get this one out. We'll save this one for next. We're gonna put that one right there. And we're gonna open up our next Lighter ball gel blaster. This one looks pretty cool. Actually has a buttstock that you can hold up against your shoulder on it. From the picture I can see already. Uh, the box is a little bit different, but this one also fires eight Orbeez per second. And it also holds 400 Orbeez inside of the magazine. Let's open this up with my handy dandy blade here. So it looks like the packaging is essentially the same and uh, we're going to go ahead and go through it right now. So we've got the blaster right here, we know that's the blaster. And it looks like we've got two different buttstocks guys, it looks like we got a buttstock just like the one we had on the other blaster. And then we have your shoulder buttstock right here which is also pretty cool. We've got one magazine. This one does not come with a second magazine, but it also looks like this magazine will fit the other blaster. Um, actually, while I'm describing this, how about you try to get that other blaster and see if that magazine fits in there. All right, so this one comes with, uh, how many Orbeez is this? I'm not sure, it doesn't say how many Orbeez this is, but I'm gonna say it's a, it's a few thousand right there, and they come in bags this time. Right. Take this off and put that in? Yep. Click the button right there. Pull it out. There you go. Okay. Yep. Try to put that one in the other way. Other Flip way? it around the other way. This way? Yep. Ooh, it fits. Did it? Oh, no. Look Just... at that. There it is. Oh. oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. So these magazines apparently are interchangeable between the blasters, which is a really cool thing I had no idea about. All right, so let's put that down. So this blaster comes with one orange magazine, and uh, and it's a different color for some reason. Should I take We've got off? a, no, just leave it how, how it is. Okay, so we've got a bottle here. It looks like this bottle is how you make your Orbeez. Basically, you're gonna pour some Orbeez in here, and it comes with a cap, a little bottle cap, which is kind of like a funnel, and you screw that on. Hold that up for me. All right, so we're gonna show you this here. Basically, this gets screwed on like that. You have your Orbeez inside here, and then you have your funnel right there, and you just dump right into the magazine of the blaster. Pretty cool little funnel there. This is actually, it looks better than the other funnel, but uh, we're gonna give them both a test and see which one works better. 
Okay, again, we've got the charger for the blaster. We've got a pair of goggles for the blaster. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the buttstock on here. We're gonna see how that looks. So it looks like you slide it downward. Yeah. All right, look at that, guys. We've got a full complete blaster. I mean, this thing feels really nice. It feels just as tough and as strong as the other one. It probably weighs exactly the same. Uh, the battery is in the same exact spot here, so I won't waste too much time on that, but there's your battery. Again, make sure you uh, charge those up before you start firing these things. You wanna make sure that you get a full charge on your batteries so that you get the best life out of them. So very cool, very cool looking blaster. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue one in here just for kicks and giggles. All right, so we've got our first two gel blasters right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our next gel blaster. And by far, looks like the coolest, just, just put these on the ground. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Woo! Okay, now that the pesky boxes are out of the way, we've got our third gel blaster to open up by Splat R Ball. This one has a drum magazine on it, which looks really amazing. I can't wait to unbox it, open it up, and find out how it actually feels and looks. So, let's read about this one. It is uh, 210 feet per second. That is the muzzle velocity, 210 feet per second. Interesting because the other ones did not have that spec on it. Uh, it also has LED lights, motion activated LED lights on this blaster. This one looks really cool. Battery operated rechargeable um, battery pack delivers up to 5,000 shots so we can fire up to 5,000 shots with one battery let's see uh, the drum magazine holds 1,200 rounds inside of it which is really cool uh, this is called the splatterball SRB 1200 which I don't believe the other ones actually had a name if I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken, yeah, these other blasters don't have a name. So this one actually has a name you guys can look up that I know of. The other ones, I just see Splatterball. So this is the Splatterball SRB1200. It comes with a charging cable, a collapsible funnel, just like the other one, a water-sensitive target. Okay, really cool. So apparently, these targets... Ugh. So what it's saying is these targets are water sensitive. So when you hit these targets, I believe they actually change color to show you where you're hitting on the target, which is really cool. We're gonna give that a test a little bit later. It seems like Splatterball thought about everything with these gel blasters that they developed. And I'm actually really excited to open this one up. So let's go ahead and slice this tape here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, right off the bat, you can see this one, this one is actually packaged just slightly differently. Um, for some reason, the, all right, so as you can see, gel blaster number one came with 20,000 Orbeez inside of a container. Gel blaster, uh, excuse me. Gel blaster number two came with a couple thousand Orbeez inside a bag. And gel blaster number three came with a couple thousand Orbeez inside of a bag. We've got our big, gigantic, amazing looking drum gel blasting bullet firer right here. This thing is huge, look at this. It's almost as big as my face. Super cool, super exciting to uh, see that and test that out. Um, the battery, for some reason, is outside of the blaster on this one so i i'm not sure where it looks like it should go in the same spot we'll find out let's pull this blaster out let's see what happens okay so yeah the blaster uh battery spot is a little bit different the button is actually if you can see the button is actually on the front right there right there on the front is where your button's at and the other ones it was a little bit further back here and uh, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure why they decided to put it with the packaging this time. Maybe it was just for aesthetics. But right here, 
This is where your LED lights are, right there on the blue uh, part of the blaster. That's where your LED lights are gonna be. So I'm excited to actually try that out. We'll go in the dark and, uh, and test that out a little bit later. So this drum magazine, let's see how it looks on there. Boom, look at that bad boy, yeah! Yo, that's really cool. 1,200 Orbeez this gel blasting uh, magazine is gonna hold. And so I'm excited to see how this thing fires. We're gonna go ahead and put the buttstock on there. Um, and by the way, it looks like all of these buttstocks, so I could probably, if I wanted, just to prove a point, I could probably take this buttstock off and I could probably just put it right on here. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, look at that. So, so guys, when you get these gel blasters, a lot of these parts are interchangeable. So I could probably, let's just try this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a regular magazine inside of this thing and see if that works. Okay, boom, it clicks right in. So you can interchange all of the gel blaster parts. The batteries, they're all the same exact size. So all the batteries, it doesn't matter which one goes to which blaster, they're all the same exact size, which is really cool and really exciting. I'm gonna put this, this one back in because it just looks so much cooler. Look at that. And with this butt, but I wish all of them came with this butt stock. I don't know why they come with this, uh, where'd it go? This little tiny butt stock thing. I guess that's for the um, strap to go through. There's a little hole there. It comes with a, oh, oh shoot. This one does come with a butt stock. It was hiding in there. I literally didn't even see this. So look at that. All right, let's, let's see how that looks on there. Ladies and gentlemen, this does come with a shoulder buttstock so i can give that one back to the other blaster and uh but now we know they're interchangeable boom so this one comes with a shoulder buttstock which is pretty awesome the uh the aim sights on these are actually pretty cool like just the other gel blasters that i bought from amazon and surge most of them have this gigantic gravity feed hopper on top which makes it really hard to like look down your line of sight and aim um, all of these blasters here actually have line of sights and so you can look down it and you can actually aim with it instead of um, you know just firing and adjusting so that's a really cool aspect is they, they actually have a scope which a lot of other gel blasters do not have um, I've got to say ladies and gentlemen FE clan um, okay so yeah here's the funnel here's the funnel that's the uh, the funnel thing and here's another pair of goggles so we're not super impressed by goggles or anything but I'm glad they come with those because they will keep your eyes protected especially from these blasters I know from experience that these splatter ball blasters actually fire pretty rapidly and pretty harsh um, they do hurt so you do not want to get shot in the eye with these now all right that is it for the unboxing of my three splatterball gel blasters if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and comment down below and then let me know what you want to see me do with these three gel blasters so i can make another video for you we're going to test these gel blasters out in the next video we're going to do the fire rate we're going to do the aim and we're going to do everything else you can possibly do with these we're going to test the targets we're going to interchange parts we're going to charge these batteries up and see how long they last uh, but yeah, if you have any ideas for me for the next video, what I should do with these gel blasters, what you want to see them do, what you want to see me test them do, um, yeah, so, uh, I can't wait to test these out. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to see the LED lights on this bad boy. We're going to see how long it takes to empty this magazine. We're going to see how they aim, how hard they, um, how hard they shoot. We're gonna see how accurate they are. We're gonna test every aspect of these gel blasters so you know the best gel blaster in America to purchase for your gel blasting wars. We'll see you next time. Subscribe, like, comment down below, and watch one of these videos right here. Peace.